Hello, uh, my name is Mark Manja, and I'm a fourth year medical technology student here at Ohio State, and this summer I worked with the Office of Student Life. Hi, my name is Megan Cooling. I'm a grad student. I'm going into my second year in the Higher Education and Student Affairs Master's program. And this summer, I was placed in the College of Medicine and their Alumni Affairs office. Um, so I was working with Martha Hicks, and my project was to create a student ambassador program. My name is Jack McBride. I study political science here at Ohio State. I'll be a junior this fall. Um, my area during the internship was in prospect and research under Donna Wolf. I am Andrea Corker, and I'm going to be a senior at Ohio State. My major is strategic communications and my minor is business and my project for this summer was working in donor relations on the donor relations best practices manual. Hi, my name is Ariel Glassman. I'm going to be a junior here in the fall. I'm a psychology major from Cleveland, Ohio. This summer I'm working with the Ohio State Alumni Association and their development department. Hi, my name is Ashley Waltermeyer and I am a recent graduate of Ohio State uh, with a degree in journalism and media production. And for my DICE project, I worked on a video that encompasses the entire gift cycle here at Ohio State. Hi, my name is Michael Haddock, and I'm going to be a senior this upcoming fall at Ohio State. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I'm studying strategic communication with two minors, one in business and one in entrepreneurship. In the summer for the DICE internship, I'm working on the uh, best practice manual for the annual endowment report. My name is Teresa Brenner. I'm a fourth year political science student from Cincinnati, Ohio. And this summer with the DICE program, I'm working in the Moritz College of Law. Can being a DICE intern really make you a much more effective leader for tomorrow? Does Jeff Hilperts have a bow tie for every day of the week? All right, so Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, we've got the conference. Uh, something bold again. Probably Ohio State colors. Burberry tie that day. Tuesday. Uh, Black tie dinner, so we'll go with the tux tie that day, tuxedo. Thursday's just internal meetings and kind of Thursday blah, just seems like let's go with just a gray tie. Yeah. Let's make this Brooks Brothers week. I'm just going to go all Brooks Brothers, starting with Monday, with the red tie. Let's, um, let's go with the crab tie. Thursday. Jeff, you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right. Before I started the internship, I actually had pretty high expectations because I had talked to some people about the program and they all said really good things about it. So I knew I wouldn't be spending time at the copier making copies or stuffing too many envelopes so I knew that it would be a really good learning experience and um, through the description it pretty much said that we'd be learning about um, development as a whole on Mondays and then get uh, the practice in the field the rest of the week so I knew it would be a really good balance between learning and practice. Honestly uh, coming into a uh, internship you always think that you're going to be getting everyone's coffee and uh, you know just running around shadowing people and never get the opportunity to uh, do anything yourself or show anything for um, what uh, the time that you've been at the internship and I've been fortunate enough to get to do so much more than that uh, I've had the opportunity to meet so many great people and network with um, just amazing people in development and across the university and I just couldn't be more thankful that this internship was so much different than all the others Coming into this internship, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, I was kind of on the mindset that I'd be working really closely and in, in underneath the direction of my host, um, probably spending a lot of time on the computer, on the internet, uh, learning about other schools, student giving programs. Um, and it actually turned out to be the exact opposite. I, I spent a lot of time in meetings, uh, going all across the university, learning about uh, the different ways that student giving touches know, university development and, and student life uh, and even the Alumni Association uh, and spent a lot of time on the phone with other institutions talking about their student giving programs uh, and, and it was actually an incredibly autonomous experience and, and something that I'm incredibly proud of. At the beginning of the DICE program I really didn't know what to expect I just kind of hoped that I would learn a lot and I'd be able to meet Archie Griffin. 
All right, guys, listen up. You know, we all have this huge campaign for Ohio State, right? How much is it? 2.5 billion. All right, 2.5 billion. With a B. With a B. With a, with with a, a B. 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 Nice. A B. Big B. All right, listen up. So I was just talking to Jeff Kaplan. He says, since you know we have a new campaign at Ohio State, we're going to have a role as interns. So think about what you have that you can give as a student to the campaign. Right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, what you have in your bags or on your purse, you have to give it up. So I have, you know, half a, half a payday, so I'll give that. What else do you have? Uh, I got a charm pop. Yeah, I got a charm pop. I got my blood card. Nice. Oh, you guys have a lip gloss. Ooh. Dollars. I, uh, <laughs> high school. That's a big stuff. All right, so I'm, all tapped out. I'm gonna say that's worth at least, you know, five hundred thousand dollars, right? At yeah, least. Easily. So I mean, we've done more than our part for the campaign, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, good job, I guys. Think we're good, done job. Here. good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Go team. <laughs>My greatest strength uh, in the internship that we found through the Strengths Finder would probably be uh, having a vision for the future. I could understand how my project was the initial like uh, tip of the spear for finding a new donor, and then I understand that you know it'll take a couple years possibly to to see actual donation come from someone. But I could understand how my project fits in into the project overall through the summer and also uh, for the campaign overall. We took the Strengths Quest. I got two strengths back. Um, that kind of stuck out to me. One would be like Includer, and one would be Woo. Um, Includer, first of all, I kind of thought that was relevant because you know when you're writing a manual, you want to include all the information as possible, um, and just kind of make it as literally the dictionary, or if not like the Bible of an annual down report. Um, also, in terms of like working with my coworkers, we always felt the need to go out to lunch together, kind of build that community, that network right off the bat. So I really enjoyed that. So Jeff Kaplan asked us to uh, do as much as we could to bring in gifts to the campaign, and I mean, we all did our best. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. All right. I went to lunch with a donor, and I got my first endowed fund. You know how Jeff Kaplan said we really need to up our donations yeah. and everything? Yeah. Okay, so it's a dollar, and it's from my mom, but my Not dad cool. said he would Not match cool. it. All right, guys, yeah, look. I got bees. 10,000 of them. 10,000 bees. Wow. Yeah, what's up now? Bam, 10,000 bees. Fine. Bees? Fine. Yeah, bees. That's way cooler than my kid. I tried to talk to AEP. This is all the more they give me. Really? I guess corporate's not really my thing. I mean, it's fine. Guys, guys, I have bees. Did you not read the memo? I have bees. You have bees? Yeah. His bees smoked you. Guess who's got two thumbs and a capo bees? This guy. Where are your bees from? Doesn't even matter. I mean, they could be friends. We can make more bees. Maybe? Possibly? Your, your bees can match his bees. I mean... Matching gift program. Great job, guys. Awesome! Yeah. Yeah. So this summer I worked with the Office of Student Life, uh, revamping our senior class giving program and, and turning it into a all students giving uh, type model. Um, we're really looking at encouraging all students to give to any aspect of the university that impacts them the most because we want them to understand the importance of giving uh, and the importance of philanthropy to the continuation of Ohio State's mission. Uh, and we want them to feel that connection uh, and that uh, altruistic feeling that you feel when giving. Uh, so that they can continue doing it throughout their young alum and, and old alum years. I think the biggest thing that I learned in the DICE program is the importance of networking and maintaining relationships no matter what job you're in. Uh, my project was a really important one. I basically am putting together a manual of best practices in a profession that I am not in. It's something I'm interested in, but I had to read books upon books and manuals upon manuals to figure out exactly what I was going to be talking about. So the people that I talked with on campus, whether it be people in nursing or engineering, they were very helpful and very warm and welcoming and opened their doors to me and said, you know, we're going to teach you because this profession is important to us. And keep in contact. Let's get lunch. Let's talk later. If you just want to call, if you want to walk right down the hall and tell me about what you're doing, please come and talk to me. I want to help you. So I think the importance of maintaining those relationships and really appreciating the people who have come to us throughout this program, including the professionals that I mentioned earlier, and appreciating 
exactly what they're doing for us because not all of them had a leg up in this program, not all of them had this opportunity to get into this profession and I think it's a wonderful chance to uh, appreciate them and thank them and hopefully go on to do something like that for kids and young adults who are coming into our profession later in life. So many people uh, came in, shared their time with us every single Monday early in the morning and uh, so many other people have taken the time to contribute to each and every one of our projects and especially Ann Metzler putting everything together. I think it's been a great learning experience for everyone. I definitely want to say thank you to the DICE program. I had a great summer. Um, to everyone who helped put our program together, who joined us, and also to our hosts. Uh, but thank you, and we had a great summer.